My name is Alessandro Petti. I'm an architect, researcher and educator. My name is Sandy Hilal and I'm an architect. Our position is somehow trying to avoid to be captured either in a specific discipline, either in a specific nationality, either in a specific frame. So, and that is a very important lesson that we uh, have learned to uh, resist normalization. In that sense, the position is never stable, but actually since the situation is transforming, is always trying to, uh, to locate ourselves um, in, uh, in a border zone where uh, conflict, uh, frictions, is happening and, and possible transformation is also happening. One of the work is called uh, Refugee Heritage. What is the history of a camp, of a refugee camp? Because we are used to think about refugee camps only as a temporary situations, uh, but we know that now statistically camps uh, are in existence for more than uh, uh, two decades. In the case of Palestinian refugee camps, they are actually almost uh, seven decades old. And uh, therefore, it became urgent to ask um, what is the history of the refugee camp. And we wanted to uh, start to narrate these different uh, uh, stories. Here in the exhibition, the, the work is manifested essentially with a setting of light boxes that were produced together with the professional photographer, Luca Capuano. So we commissioned him to use the same care and respect for the architecture Meanwhile, he was documenting uh, the Haitian refugee camp. The living room project is a question of, do we need only to deal with one big abstract public that is organized only and exclusively by the state, or we can accept today that there are a lot of temporariness, temporary publicness, that are also happening between the private and the public. And whenever somebody feels that he has no access to the public, maybe the reaction would be, I open my living room and open it to the community I want to invite in. And I'm not any more guest as I am in the public space, but I am the host. I'm the one deciding the codes and the norms of what will be happening in my living room. The position of the living room at the entrance of the museum is exactly because I met Shafiq, and, and Shafiq is standing uh, sometimes all day long there. And he a lot of time told me that he chats with many of the people that arrive to the museum. And, and he felt himself that he wants to be a host. And I felt that this would be the best position for the living room uh, in exactly where he stands. We would like uh, maybe uh, to raise that questions that would resonate with, with the public. And in that sense, for example, a question would be what happened when you don't belong to the public space? Or what happened when you don't feel represented by the mainstream representation? What happened when you don't feel represented by your own state? Uh, what happened, for example, if you don't feel home where home should be? And in that sense, these are questions that I think uh, many people shared today, and it feels, speaking about refugees, it feels as if they are the only ones without home, but I guess many of us are sort of without home in many uh, ways. Our project exists uh, within and maybe beyond uh, the, uh, the museums or, or, or the necessity to actually have an exhibition. And this, in a way, creates a certain independence uh, so when we actually um, arrive to the point of uh, uh, making an exhibition in relation to a project, uh, we, um, we have the tendency, of course, of not just representing the project that is happening outside, but using the exhibition space as, as a space for uh, experimentation, so that the visitor can, uh, with his uh, and whole body, can actually uh, experience uh, something spatially, and, um, and connect in some ways with something that um, is also happening beyond the, um, the closed wall of, um, of the museum or, or the gallery. Mm -hmm.